Uh, this is a tutorial on how to build a child rocking chair. Um, I will uh, be short in the audio part, but as you can see, I start the rocker is a 30 inch radius. I've had it bigger I've had it smaller this worked as you can see I just simply did the 30 inch and then an inside this is one way I've done it the other way is listed after this but uh, it's not a big deal I just play with it until you you get it right now I'll admit I am not the world's premier uh, programmer with a spire um, I get around I try and do the best I can I'm sure you uh, can change it up fix it up the best way you you see fit um, as you can see I struggle quite a little bit with getting things to fit right the other way that I uh, got the rockers was simply uh, bring in the uh, plans uh, from before I should and you can see I just I got all my books from here or all my measurements from here um now I made smaller rockers, larger rockers. Um, this size seemed to be about right. Um, I was real happy with the finished product. Yep, got to get the part I want. Brought it over. And like I said, I'm not the world's best programmer. I, but uh, this this method worked. Okay. Once I had the rockers uh, outlined, 
I had to cut dados for them. I make guitars and I use the exact same method for guitars. And what I did was make a left and right for each of the rockers and then the measurements for the back rocker and the front rocker I just simply dated those out. To get the section that you wanted to get data out, um, I just put the size of the back, which on this one was 
155 in the front was 120 and you got to make a left and a right and the only thing I will tell you about any of the dados is make sure that when you make the cut it is clean on the borders. Uh, it, that's why the dados are or the boxes are bigger than the uh, material itself. Okay, in the back rails, um, you had all kinds of dados. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you. The back rails, you can slant the box, you can make it straight up. I've done it both ways. I've done it where I've had curved backs. It does not matter. Whatever's easiest for you. This is the first time I think I ever did back rails that have uh, a, uh, a tilt in it. These are tilted at 11 degrees. Most chairs are about 15, but you got to remember a rocker doesn't need that much of a tilt. Now, we're going to work on the uh, bottom rail first and uh, Okay, to make the, on the back tilt, I took two boxes, as you can see, and I stacked them. And I'll need a couple uh, straight lines so I can uh, do the two different types of tilts that this rocker had. One was at 11 degrees. The other one is at um, 8 degrees. Like I said, I struggle all over the place to get the... The front one will be 11 degrees the one from the edge to the the back edge is eight
this is the dados for the back and the first part was to get rid of the uh, extra material you don't need this is from the all these dados will be uh, cut out Ooh, waiting um, that this is slow I've had a stroke and I was right handed all this what you're seeing is done left handed so please give me a break with uh, the jerkiness that I I had I don't mean to be but this is uh, the way I have to survive. Okay. There we go.
All right, now what I'm going to do is spin this. Uh, it will depend on your wood. Now, I, all my wood was two feet long. Um, you probably can make better use of your wood, but I can't pick up wood much bigger than two feet and get it right. Um, all the wood for this project got fitted to eight tenths uh, thick so it, everything would work out and when I went to go to put this together it went together like Tinker Toys it was very easy to put together now I'm going to flip this so I get a left and a right. You're going to have to do that with uh, also the uh, front rails. The front rails are pretty much the same thing once you get them set up. Um, the lower one, uh, the lower two dados I'm going to say that that'll be coming up in here in a second. I I cut it four tenths. Those I cut at four tenths. The other ones I cut it two tenths. And that seemed to work out well. Um, I was just very, very happy how that turned out. And uh, to get your board this I did have to use both sides uh, I f had to flip it over uh, to get the dado cut on the other side These four dados are going to get cut at four tenths. I would not mess with that at all. Um, this upper one I'm going to do, I think on the video, I said um, 15, uh, 15 hundredths. And I would go ahead and just put it at two tenths. It it really doesn't matter. As you can see, that's how I have uh, the shift click. I have a little weight that goes on. Again, make sure all your angles are sharp. Now, for that upper one, I have on this video... 1500 but or 15 yeah 1500 I you could get away very easily with two tenths
okay, we're on the back side. We'll dado out for the seat and go ahead and set that for two tenths. You will be fine. Then uh, the outline of uh, the profile, I cut that at uh, eight tenths and it, it did a fine job. It, it's right on the money. Uh, as you can see, I did my spoil board first, then the uh, shift key and click for the back part. Um, pro, uh, I pocket that out at uh, two hundredths. Then uh, the profile at eight tenths. All right, to get your side rails on, uh, I use 1.2 inches thick, or not thick, but um, uh, it, tall, uh, let's say. I use the exact same measurement for all the rails, front rails, back rails, and for the um uh back uh, ladder type uh, uh rails for the back of the chair I went 11 inches on uh this project 
Uh, I did one at 10 and I like the 10 inch better. You change it to what you want. Uh, you could do 10 inch for all of them. Make one reel and just copy it uh, six times. Uh, but uh, again, I did uh, four. Uh, four tenths on a dado and then I cut the reel out this the, the front back side reels but somewhere right about uh, 10 inches depending on how big you want your chair to be
Okay, to work on the front rails, uh, it's uh, exactly like the back rails, but you only have two dado or three dados instead of four. Uh, again, uh, bring everything to the front uh, and then get rid of what, what you don't need. Uh, cut them out. And, you know, uh, for some reason, I measured everything uh, more than once. 135, one in 3,500. So, yeah. But uh, I put that on a a box there and then uh, you I you lay it out and you data it out
Okay, maker armrest. I th on mine, uh, this one I think I went 14. I would guess better if you went 15. Um, I did 15.5 on my final, and I like that a whole lot better. But uh, you can always cut down. I actually made these too small and had to recut them uh, uh, later. Again, you're going to use about 12 board feet. And, uh, of course, you get your, uh, your, as being a, a little bit more able to manipulate lumber, you could probably make better use. As you can see, uh, I have a lot of waste. But I just I physically can't pick up more than uh, four feet at a time. But to manipulate it through my sander, it, two feet is the maximum. Now, what this piece I'm cutting out right here is to go against my... Uh, dados on the armchair this will go on the side and then what I did is glued a, a piece uh, 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 I pin I screwed it on and then covered it up with uh, a d piece of dowel is all I did um, if your back is straight, that cut is uh, the way it sits there will be very good. Other than that, you'll have to cut uh, sand uh, the bottom edge so the top edge will fit into the um, next to the back rail. I cut this one with an eight, eighth inch end mill. Uh, the reason I did that is I got a sharper corner and didn't have to fool with the bandsaw cutting that edge, that corner at right there where I was. Uh, it's up to you.
doing the bears a real easy job uh i went 12 inches tall you can go 15 all the way to any height on y that you want x whatever you made the uh end rail uh if you went 11 inches then you go 11 inches if you went 10 then it'll be 10. I think I went 11 on this particular one. But it was real easy to uh, you just get it and fit it in there. And it fit right in. Now I did all kinds of little thing with trying to center it. And then I figured out, oh, there is something that, that will fit. Uh, but it goes real quick. And what I did was simply V-carve the beer, uh, fill it in with uh, black paint, and then sand it down. I used white. Um, uh, what uh, oak on this project and to tell you the truth it's the first time I ever used white oak I liked it 90% uh, of my project I use uh, pecan I love pecan whatever you want to do something uh it's a hard, hard wood, and it looks wonderful. Uh, it, it, I just like it. It's whatever preference you want. Uh, but I've always liked the, the look of it. And um, then uh, it sanded and cleaned right up. Uh, as we finish here with the bear, uh, it's you get everything cut out. Uh, 
in the description I give uh, all the links to the program the measurements um, as you can see this thing glued right up and there's the dado on the inside all that's why I went left and right and it it went together really well I hope you enjoyed this